<laughs> Alright guys, so, um, if you guys saw Tom Brady's video recently, he did a video looking at the wake up frames and how, um, I guess the, the invincibility frames, and I've done a video on this before, but I actually wanted to look into it a bit deeper, because in Tom's video, which I'll link in the description, he talks about how if you short delay or long delay, it extends your invincibility by, uh, you know, he said more than 10 frames, right? And, again, I was really curious about this, because I honestly didn't think that was true, right? Like, um, we obviously do know it increases the visibility in the sense that when you're on the floor you can't be hit, but um, the way he words it, he makes it sound like as you're getting up itself, that that has extra invincibility, right? Like, because he talks about how you watch the animation and because you're trying to react to the animation of them getting up and then you stick out your button, because it's extra invincibility, you're made you worse again and then you get, you know, you died wake up buttons, right? So, I spent, like, uh, a good amount of time breaking down orders for recording a whole bunch of footage for you guys so we can actually see this frame by frame right and i've done the three examples using jumps a super active move and a oh just a, just a standard media right so let's look at this right again there's a the frame card in the top corner and i'll explain where each of them is as we go right so for the first example over here I'm, I'm just looking at jumps right so this is a jump um it's sort of hard to analyze a jump right but I'm going to use key parts of the animation to sort of like use it as like a waypoint, right? So if you watch the jury here, between here and here, right? From this, from frame two to frame, or sorry, frame three to frame four, you can see he gets off the ground like that. And then, you know, it's kind of all the way through. If you get to the end, it's frame 49 where he lands again, right? So you can watch this. He's just, he sees his legs are more or less the same, but the once you hit frame 49, they expand a bit, right? So it's like a very slight amount of expansion, right? Between 47 and 48, they're just going up and down. Right, going up and down, but 48 to 49, his legs expand a little bit, and, and we're going to use that animation as the point of reference, right? So, we know a jump takes about 46 frames, or I guess 49 in total, if, if you want to count the pre-jump frames, right? Because the first three frames, is you haven't actually left the ground yet. But frame 49 is about where you land, right? So, in this example, I've had Sub-Zero hit him with back two, right? Again, the frames are counting, right? Just to check, right? Back two is 14 frames. The input, the input buttons over here, there's the two. One, two, three, four, whatever, count up to frame. 14, there we go, see, frame 14. Makes contact, so we know the frame count is working. Uh, just a disclaimer quick, right? Uh, with this stuff, uh, there is some weird stuff where like a single frame will be missing because just like, the nature of the, of the recording software, or the nature of the playback, it, it sometimes like, skips a frame, right? So there are times where I added a single frame just to make a match up and stuff, but again, it's, uh, one frame again, that's well, really minute compared to what we're actually looking at over here. So anyways, okay, so let's look at this, right? He lands, da-da-da, he falls, gets back up, whatever. So it's the same stuff we've done before, if you've seen my previous video, right? So let's go back, okay? So I started counting here, right? But let's go to the end of it. We, we said frame 49 is where his legs expand. Yeah, between there and there, his legs sort of expand, right? So we count backwards. Count backwards to frame 0, and this is where the jump starts, remember? From here to here, we said a frame... Uh, from the from the from the frame is legs expand. It's forty nine frames exactly from when the jump starts, right? Because if you hear it, you can see the jump. Sorry, let's get to the start again. From from here to here, you can see the input over here, right? This is one frame, or this is this is exactly when I press up to start the jump, right? So it takes exactly forty nine frames to jump. So over here, look backwards, and he starts to jump over here. Now, this is important, right? If you saw my previous video, I use his hand raising, right? So it's sort of hard to see, but you can see his hand comes up over here, right? Like, it's, uh, this is a pretty shit stage, to be honest, right? But you can see his hand starts rising, right? So, and I've always used that as a point of reference for when he starts getting up, right? Now, the number's consistent, right? Last time I said 19 frames, so, and it should be the same thing. What is this? Oh, that's just the knockdown frames, whatever. We'll look at that later, right? So 19 frames. Oops, frame, eight, frame 19, right? And again, it lines up. So this is exactly what we said before, right? It takes 49 frames. So at frame 19, he starts to jump, goes up, goes back down, right? So... We know this is exactly where, uh, like, where you start jumping, right? So your actions will always occur about frame 19 to frame 20. Now, let's, let's go back over here just to, just to see one thing, right? Um, I'm also going to check how long a delay wake up actually lasts for. So at frame 0, we have you know, we have this thing over here, right? So this is when the back two makes contact, right? At frame 0. And then that point of reference where his hand goes up isn't until frame 54, right? So he goes up, you know, he goes up, lands, whatever. And then frame 54 is where his hand comes up and he starts rising, right? And then he jumps, whatever, right? So that's, that's normal get up. So just, actually, I'll, I'll do a full note at the end, right? But it's about 54 frames before you start, or from the point you make contact to the point where you regain control and you start standing up. 
over here, same thing, right? But this is not now short delay, right? So short delay hits in frame 14, right? Did I count for this one? No, I didn't. Look, I was lazy. Uh, same thing, right? This is his legs expanding. See, see his legs? Yep, they expand. Yeah. Go, go back to frame zero. That's when, that's when the jump starts. Now, this is this is the weird thing, right? So again, when Tom said that your invincibility lasts a bit longer, uh, he is right. But he he said it was by more than 10 frames. And let's just check this out, right? Now, okay. Okay, see so here, hands flat, he's completely flat, flat on his back, and then his hand comes up here, right? So again, same point of reference, his hand starts coming up, right? We count 21 frames, right? 21 frames before the jump starts, right? Because again, we said the jump starts, the jump takes exactly 49 frames. So if we use the jump as a point of reference, going exactly back, this is when you when the jump starts. So now, it's you, you don't start moving to, to frame 21, which is sort of weird, right? Sort of weird. Um, so like, I guess Tom's sort of right. It looks like if you short delay, it extends your invincibility by about two frames, right? Or one or two frames, right? Again, depending that that, that one frame that's sort of off, right? But let's just look at the other part, right? The other, thing, other thing I wanted to see, right, was again point of contact, right? And how long does it see you regain control, right? And we said we regain control at this point over here, right? So if we go all the way forward up to here at frame 69, here we go, right? So between normal get up and short delay, it looks like short delay... In delays your wake up by exactly 15 frames, right? But in doing so, when it delays your 15 frames, or delays your wake up by 15 frames, it seems to extend your invincibility by about two frames, right? Now, again, I didn't actually check the invincibility here, but the main thing is your action doesn't come out to about two frames later. So I'm assuming it's the same with the with your invincibility. You should be invincible up until you regain control of your character. And that's here, where you start jumping. Now, this is long delay, exact same thing. Let's, let's do the exact same shit, right? If I can record this a million times. There we go, frame 49, right? Watch his legs expand. Yep, so it's 47, 48, he's going up and down, up and down. 48, 49, his legs expand a slight amount, so we go back to frame zero. Frame zero, now, okay, now here, check this out. All right, so, again, this is when you regain control, right? Let's go back to the start, you got hit at frame, uh, frame zero over here, we start, we start counting. Um, and up until, you know, the point where we see his hand come up, his hand comes up uh, about here, frame 84, right? But again, you see it's, it's flat, hand comes up, and we start counting. And then it's a frame 20 where the jump starts, right? So again, it's sort of the same deal. Like, it's it's so minute. I feel like between short, short delay and long delay, right? Your, your invincibility extends by like one or two frames max, right? And again, the, the one of those frames could be just from like recording errors, right? So yes, you do get extra invincibility, but it's definitely not 10 frames. Uh, now you go through this part, whatever. So let's look at long delay, right? Let's go all the way through it. And long delay lasts to frame... Oh, you don't regain control until frame 84 if you long delay like that, right? Now again, before this was, uh, where was it? 69, right? 69 to 84, that's 15 frames. So again, every time you short delay or long delay, it adds 15 frames to your get up, right? Which is, okay, like 15, 15 frames is a pretty clean number, so it looks like that's pretty intentional. Um, now, okay, so that's with jumping, right? So we can see there that your jump doesn't actually come up to frame 21, right? Or, yeah, to a frame 20, right? Frame 20, frame nine, frame 21 of this one, right? But again, it's 19 to 21, right? It, 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 you're looking at one to two frames, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, to test it again, I I did the exact same thing, but you know this time running the, the test that Tom ran, right, which was the ground freeze, right. Now the ground freeze takes forty nine frames to come out, right, and it's active fucking forever, right. As as long as it's on the ground, you'll get hit, right. So there it comes out, blah blah blah. Again, frame forty nine, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine. Yeah, there we go, right. Starts up over here, frame zero. You can see the input for the one, right. The input for one. Forty nine frames later, it makes one. Forty four. Sorry. Uh, 49. 49 frames, frames later makes contact, right? Now again, just like the jump, we need a point of reference. And my point of reference for this one is frame 44, where the ice starts coming out over here, right? So yeah, let's do the same thing. Skip forward, so he starts doing the ice. Uh, frame, frame 44, here we go. You can see that the ice is coming out, right? Frame 44. Again, it's the same deal, right? Knocks him down, back to into that, whatever. Starts cancelling into it, right? The point is, frame 44, that's when it starts coming out. Uh, I guess this part doesn't really matter, right, to be honest, but frame 44 is over here, and we know it's active at frame 49, so at this point over here, you can be hit by the ground freeze, but let's go forward, right, let's see what happens, right, so, frame, again, it's active from here, now let's see the start of the, get so this is, uh, quick normal rise now, right, so, with normal rise, right, again, see the hand, again, the hand comes up, 1, 2, 3, 4, all up to frame 19, right, so frame 19, we said, is when, it, is when you were, I guess, uh, is when you were, uh, I guess, when you, when you regain control, right, or you, you could get hit, now this is the frame. Now again, now check this out. You get hit one frame later, so it seems like your invincibility is one frame longer compared to when, to when your action frames are. 
again, because it's one frame, it could be down to like to, to, to my recording errors, right? But again, like it's like it's pretty it's pretty consistent, right? Nineteen to twenty frames is when you can do your actions and when you can get hit, right? Again, that's normal. That's normalized. Oh, oops, sorry, but and again, let's cheap check. Let's get uh, this one normalized, right? Same thing, twenty frames. Now let's go short delay, right? The same thing. It's about frame forty-four, right? Just to make sure, right? Frame forty-four, yeah. This is when. Oh fuck! Did I fuck it up? Whoops. Uh, let's move this back a step. Whoops. There we go. That should be that, right? But the point is, yeah. From fame, from this point on, it's act it's active, right? Now over here, let's check this out. Again, it's active, right? Now let's watch the hand, right? So. Doing the same thing as before, right? The hand comes up here, frame 69, right? You know, before, that's the same as what we had for this one over here. Frame 69, I think. Where the hell was it? Uh, God damn, I can't remember this. Uh, fuck. My bad, guys. I should have organized this better. Which fucking number am I looking at? Yeah, it should be this one, yeah. Yeah, 69, right? So 69 was when the hands came up, right? So the short delay timing is, ex is exactly the same, right? The short delay timing is exactly the same. Over here, yeah. So that's when the action, that's when the action starts, and again, you start standing up, right? So again, the counters are different in a different point. It's this one in the corner here, but again, nineteen to twenty frames. Let's count 16, 19, 20, 21. Again, so some of the same deal. Again, like it's, like, I guess it does extend your invincibility by like one by one frame, but again, it's still less than ten, right? Again, uh, I, d I didn't make a hold up, but the point is, like, it's because it's active. As soon as you get up into it, you're gonna get hit by this, right? Like that. Um, but yeah, that's short delay, right? So again, same thing, extends it by 15 frames, and at about frame 20 to 21 is when you get hit, right? Now let's, let's check long delay. Same thing, right? Well, again, just making sure it's long delay, right? Whatever, so it goes into it. You get hit. Uh, frame 44, I guess you want to check the point of reference, right? Not really matter, right? Frame 44. Frame 49, well, it's greater than frame 49, so it's definitely already active. Uh, what's this one I'm counting? Uh... I think it's just the start of the animation, yeah. So over here, what the fuck? I literally can't remember, remember what my numbers were. But over here, I got, it's the same deal, right? There it is. So the hand comes up, right? Frame 77, it looks like. Did I? Did I mess that up? Let's pull that a bit ahead. There we go. It was, that's enough, yeah. So 84, right? Was the same number we saw before, which is what, like before we had 69, right? So plus 15, again, 84. So long delay does extend it by. 15 frames again, but again, we start counting the get up animation here, right? Hand comes up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, start going along, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So usually this is where you, you really get control. 9, 20, 21, 22, right? So again, like, I guess between short and long delay, you're invincibly got extended by 1 and 2 frames. So like, it's very, like, it's there, but it's pretty minute, like, I, I don't think it matters that much, to be honest, right? Yeah, if you set play media, you're gonna die, right? But again, I'll explain my thoughts on this in a, like, the, at the end of the video, right? Uh, but yeah, again, same thing, right? Uh, yeah, like literally, you're still getting hit at about like frame 19 to 21, right? Let's just go back to that to make sure. You get hit exactly there, right? Extensive, extensive frames, but like, like barely anything, right? What's the next one? Uh, oh, this is just downfall, right? So this is the final check, right? So again, I, I did a mini button just to see what it's like, right? So this is down four. Again, I didn't test every little thing out, right? But down four is 11 frames, so watch the input. There's a four, so it's frame zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So it makes contact frame eleven. So we know that's how it works, right? It's the same thing, right? Now the reason I know this is a media, right, is because the active frames, right? Let's just check the active frames, right? Downfall is active for three frames, so because this is active three, it means it's connecting at frame th at frame three, right? So now to count, right? Frame or active one was frame eleven, so active three should be frame thirteen. So let's, let's count. Uh, where is the fucking button? Have I started the button? Oh, here it is. Right, the button starts coming out over here. There it is. Right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, frame 13. It's active in frame 13, so it's, this is definitely a medium down 4. Now, let's check the get up frame. Again. Same thing, right? He's on his back, hand comes up. Right. So we start counting. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. It should be getting hit at frame 18 or 19. Frame 20, there we go, right? Again, so it's pretty consistent. So it was 20, 21, and 22. So you're not hittable to, to frame 21 or 20, 21, 22 based on whether you, you normal get up, quick rise, or sorry, normal get up, short delay, or long delay, right? But you get your action back at frame 19. So like, 
wake up buttons is somewhat good because you have one extra frame of invincibility to do your button. So your wake up jab's actually coming out at frame six if you just frame it perfectly, right? Which is pretty damn hard to do. Don't forget that. Um, but that's that, right? So again, now let's just all right. So this last part over here, I'm just checking the thing out. But again, guys, let's like let's just check this out, right? So I tested wake up jab, and I I did it over and over to make sure it was it was like it was the earliest wake up jab I can do, right? So knock, uh, it knocks me down. And again, same thing, right? My hand comes up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever. Let's just go to the end. Fuck it, seems. Frame, frame 19, right? Again, that, that's when we said our action came back, which was consistent with the jump before. I input my 1, exactly frame 19, right? And 1 has a start off of 8 frames, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Comes out perfect, right? And again, because you're invincible to frame 20, it's pretty sick. You have a 1 frame invincible in your jet, but it's honestly enough to make a difference, right? I ran some other tests too to make sure. When I was doing this, I was plinking it to see if it worked, right? Uh, and you'll see from a plink test that what happens, right? Now check this out, right? So watch my inputs. There we go. So I input the one a frame too early, right? Frame 18, right? Now watch what, what, what comes out. Nothing, right? I, I hit the two at frame 20... What if I hit two? Frame 22 here, right? And the two comes out, right? So I hit one at frame 18, doesn't come out. For frame 19, oh, for the, for the one we did previously, shit, frame 19, it came out, right? Definitely the one came out. But this in this case, I hit a frame 18, a frame 12 doesn't come out. Because I plinked 1, 2, I got the 2 coming out instead. Look at that, right? Let's make sure I did another record of this to make sure it wasn't like a recorder error. So again, same thing comes up, whatever. 14, 15, whatever, 17, 18, 19. Hit the 1 again, a frame 19, perfect, a perfect wake up jab. Comes out, right? Let's check this one again. Right? This time, I think I picked a different button actually. So I hit it so early, right? This is frame 16, right? It's definitely not coming out, right? But let's see what happens with my stand 3. Now check this out, right? So I plinked 1, 3, right? I did it so early, but my 3 comes out this time, right? Because I plinked 3, right? Plinked 3. Um, and I come, that, that came out frame 19. And now stand 3 comes out. So we know wake up buttons definitely come out at, at 19 frames. Right? But you're not hittable to about frame 20. But again, it's one frame difference of invincibility. I don't think that's going to make like all the difference when you actually play this game. Like, I mean, this is checking wake ups, right? Um, actually, this is sort of interesting, right? Because I, I sort of based my stuff from this lot, like on the last video, right? But I wanted to explore a bit, a bit deeper. So again, same thing, right? Hand comes up, right? And it's frame... I, I input this at frame 17, right? But I don't know, because you can buffer wake ups, right? You don't really care about it. But again, frame 18, check that out, frame 18, right? That's when the animation starts, right? And it subs up three as a start up of 10 frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 makes contact, right? So it looks like your actual wake up attacks, like up two, up three, roll, grab, shit like that, right? They come out one frame faster, which is just like how specials work when you, when you reverse a special, right? You can punish something one frame faster, or you can punish a minus 10 move with a 10 frame special but you need a 9 frame button, right? So it looks like wake-ups operate the exact same way, right? They come out 1 frame faster. Um, yeah, so that's why it contacts, or it comes out frame 18. Whereas wake-up buttons, because it's not a re reversal, they come out at frame 19, right? And all your actions for all the stuff we did before, like, you know, when I, when I held up, right? Like, you know, I didn't need to time holding up, right? You just fucking hold it. But this comes out exactly at frame 19, right? So it's there, and it starts jumping. There we go, see? And again, from here to the end of the jump is... 49 frames, because we found that at the very start, it'd be here. Yeah, 49 frames, right? So actions come out at 19 frames, your wake up your wake up attacks come out at frame 18, but according to this invincibility test, right? Is it this one? Yeah. You're not hittable to about frame 20. Yeah, this is the top left one. Or well, 20 or 21 again, based on whether you short delay or long delay. So this is this is short delay. Frame 21, right? Where it's hittable. Again, plus or minus a frame because of the recording error, but whatever. If you don't, if you this is no delay, where you quick res, you, you hit that, and for long delay, this is it. Fuck, what the hell was it? I didn't record this one. I didn't, I didn't cut. And there it is, frame 22. So it's, you know, 20, 21, 22. It's pretty cool. Um, now, again, I guess, what does this all mean, right? Let's, let's, let's actually just talk about this for a bit, right? Um, wake up buttons is annoying as shit, right? Online, it's so fucking hard to deal with, right? But, again, we saw that, the, like, it's, they're slightly delayed if you do a short delay into whatever, right? This, um, if you do short delay into whatever, like, your, your your actions don't come out to, well, we didn't see exactly, but I'm assuming it correlates, right? Your actions don't come out to, like, frame 
21 on short delay or, or frame 22 on long delay. Sorry, I thought, whatever, fuck it, it's around there, right? Well, I'll, I'll do a proper document for this later, right? But um, because there's an extra fr extra frame delay if you do short or long delay, it's actually easier to meaty on a short or long delay, right? Because you have more time to confirm the getup animation. It's only two frames, right? So it's not that, that much. But, you know, when you're playing online with two, two three frames, like, that fucking two frames makes a big difference to getting your, your reaction meaty out, right? Because, again, I, I've been saying this so much, right? Like, like and I, I get blown up for it because it's fucking hard, right? Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, like, this isn't something that's easy to do, right? But if, react, like, if you knock someone down and then they break away, you don't need to deal with up three, you don't need to deal with up two, you don't need to deal with roll. All you need to deal with is delay wake up, right? We see here that the get up animation takes about 19 frames. So you have 19 frames before you can actually get up and do something, right? You know, let's, let's just, let's just fucking, let's just write some stuff down so you guys can see. Right, let me open some stuff up. Right. So let's just explore some stuff, right? So you'll wake up, right? So actions come out. Actions come out at frame 19, right? You're hittable at frame 20, right? And this is for normal res, right? Again, I'm sort of spitballing this thing, right? Quick res, right? If you short delay, short delay, and if you long delay, it changes very slightly. Again, I didn't test the hittable part of this, right? But I, I reckon it correlates, whoops, fuck, it correlates with when your action comes out, right? So this is 20, I'm assuming, right? And this is 21, I'm guessing this is going to be 22, right? So the longer they delay, the more time you actually have to hit your meaty, right? Now, let's just, let's just assume, right? Wake up button, right? So you wake up, let's say they wake up down one, right? Let's say wake up stand one, right? Let's say, let's say they, they wake up once you, right? And your average one is like about... Let's say eight frames, right? Let's be conservative, right? Eight frames. So if your meaty, if your meaty is let's say a let's say thirteen frame button, right? So not, that's pretty average, right? Thirteen frame button. That well, that means you need to input your meaty by okay. So uh, let's see, uh, let's see, perfect wake up button. Contacts at what frame twenty seven. You actually, you can, you can start doing actions on frame 19. So it'll be 27, or, uh, 27 frames, right? Frame 27. So you need to input your meaty at 14 frames. And this is the, this is the key number here. Let's, let's highlight it, right? 14 frames. You have 14 frames to confirm the wake up or to, to confirm the animation and then to, and then stick out, stick out your, uh, your button to, to, to beat the wake up thing, right? That now, okay, let's, 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 let's just try a different scenario, right? Let's do the slightly more infuriating one, right? Let's do wake up down one, right? Let's do wake up down one. Let's, let's, go, let's go the hard case. Uh, six frame wake up, right? Let's, uh, again, we're trying to meet you with, with a 13 frame normal. So this thing comes out at uh, 25 frames, right? Which means your meaty needs to come out what? at it's four frames, right? Or need input meaty. You need input your meaty at 12 frames, right? You have 12 frames to react to the entire getup animation, right? The, the entire getup animation and hit your meaty still. It's just pretty for that damn hard online, right? Because again, online delay, online delay is three frames. So these numbers, right? The, the downward in particular, right? Your downward meaty, then becomes nine frames. You have nine frames to confirm the getup animation and then hit your meaty, right? That's fucking hard. Right, let's just you know, let's just support the numbers a bit, right? Again, I'm not gonna do the whole calculation again, right? But let's just check what, what this is now, right? So, on these ones, because it's you know, actually two frames, this then becomes 10 frames, you have 10 frames to confirm it, and this means you have 11 frames to confirm it, right? So, uh, if they if they delay wake up, you actually have more time to, to reaction meaty, but but if they if they quick rise, that's that's the hard one because you don't have nine frames to confirm, which is kind of ridiculous to be honest, right? So, if this is how it works, right? Let's talk about how we can. I guess, or how the game could change for the better, right? I honestly like the current wake-up system, right? A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's pretty good, right? The risk reward on it is pretty, pretty balanced, right? Um, if you're always meaty, yeah, like, uh, like, I guess, if you're wake-up scenario, let's just break down some of these, right? You, when I meaty, it comes down to three things, right? You either, well, I guess, your wake-up options, right? On your, on your Oki pressure, right? Yeah, three main options, right? You can meaty big button, right? 
uh, let's just let, let's do this in the context of Aaron. So this makes a bit more sense. Alright, mini big button. So back to two two. Alright, at least a full combo. Full combo. Let's say twenty five percent. Right, obviously it does more than that. But let's just let's just keep it generic. You can mini poke. Right, down. To, let's say down three. Right, which is you can you can do a reaction. Right, mini poke. You can do a reaction. But you get like what five percent. But it's completely safe. Completely safe. Well, it's not five percent. Probably three percent. Not bad. Let's say two percent. Right, completely safe. Minus up three. Right. So let's compare the two of these, right? What does this die do? This dies to roll, right? Roll will full combo punish you. Full combo punish you. And this will lose to up three. Uh, actually, let's not put that there. So. Up three does how much? How much? By like 8% potentially, right? But this will full combo punish. Full combo punish roll. Depending if you like on your timing, right? Full combo punish some up threes based on the hitbox because you have fucking low profiles. Some up threes. And what else is there? Yeah, actually, between those two, alone, you can sort of you can sort of always media and like not have any major risk, right? But again, it's hard to time, right? This is hard to time as well because it's because of the current system, right? You can midi single four three into buffer four three buffer to keep yourself a bit safer. Right, but again, it's 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 sort of sort of iffy. But probably those like what four percent as well, four percent, right? But actually, if you're buffering, and you're sort of doing reaction, you'd be like, say ten percent, right? Because like you sort of curb your risk reward, right? If you want to be completely safe, um, yeah, like you, you don't get a reward, right? But I like I feel like the risk reward on wake ups is pretty good. Again, like the, this is up for debate and stuff, and you know there is a lot a lot of aspects to it, right? But you can sort of cover multiple options at the same time. And again, if you hard read the up three, you punish them full combo. Right? So, uh, I was like, uh, bait, wake up. Right? Full combo punish, up three, potentially, and here, a wake up jump. Uh, if reactions are decent, punish roll. Again, a lot of this is dependent on your, on your, your reactions. Full combo punish roll. Right? But yeah, between these options, it's, it's pretty damn good, right? Like, I, I feel like as the aggressor, you still have you, the balls in your court, right? This is the option with, like, yeah, like, the risk reward is skewed in their favor, right? Because your poke doesn't, doesn't, does jack all compared to that thing. But it covers so many options. It covers everything except for up three, right? Um, and even some up threes. If you've got a good poke, fuck, man, you, you cover both of them at the same time. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, and I guess if you have a decent mid, right? And, like, and, and you know how to, like... So if you get a mid with decent recovery, you can maybe big button and still not die to full, like die, die to roll, right? You just lose your turn. Again, yeah, it's it's very much character specific, right? But no, like I, I honestly think the wake up the wake up game is fine. Bar this stuff over here. So let's go, let's go back to the main thing we're looking at, right? Over here, right? Now these are the, these are the core numbers, right? This isn't enough time to react when you're online, right? So I reckon a way that can make the game better. Um, I'm probably not gonna go through this too much, right? Because this video's already pretty long. But I think the way the, the way they can make the game better is just to <laughs> it sounds crazy, but make extend the invincibility, right? Because right now, what's the, what's the current invincibility? The invincibility, right, is twenty frames, right? Or well, nineteen to twenty frames, right? Make this twenty five, and now hear me out, right? If you make this twenty five frames, what does that change, right? If if you go by the same system, suddenly this becomes what this uh, your. Uh, I'm really gonna fucking make this easier to see. Uh, God, I cannot. See. Oh, I shall delete again. Sorry. There we go, right? This one becomes what? That's 25, this would be 26, and this would be 27, right? Yes, that's a lot of fucking invincibility, right? But that 25 that 25 frames it gives you so much time to react to the reactive thing. Or like, yeah, if you brain dead your meeting, if you brain dead your set play, it won't work out, right? But if you if you actually play reactions, even with online delay, you'll be able to reaction media. And if this makes probably makes offense a bit too strong, right? So if they change this, you, you probably don't need to change roll at all, right? Because roll is I don't know, roll's a way to get out of this shit, right? But I don't know, like, it's, it's, I don't know, if you want to change the wake up game, it's, it's either you nerf roll slightly, which is what Tom said, right, you make it cost an extra bar because forward roll does make meeting with a big button super scary, or 
just do this extend invincibility so you can reaction media every time right like that's how it works in street fighter right street fighter has the same system right but because your normals are so fast right you you knock something down you set play a midi and after you you, you watch them it's like oh yeah they start getting up midi crash jab right? but the midi crash jab is fucking like you know plus two plus three whatever whatever the hell it is right and it links into a potential combo this game is slightly different right because so because you have slower normals i reckon they just need to extend invincibility a slap bit more right this will make wake up buttons so much weaker because you can actually confirm the fucking wake up and just go into it right yes if you have bar and, 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 you try, and you try, you know, approach them like this, you're still going to die, right? But the big thing is, if they break away, they're actually gone. They're actually gone, yeah. You, you can you can stop people from doing set plays but with your short delay and long delay, right? But you have to take a meaty. If, if someone's actually good at timing their meaties and shit, yeah, like, this, um, this is fucking solid. Like, with 25 frames, you have enough time to react to, to the get-up. Um, and it's not, it's not like, you know, the, the Oki that you're dealing with is that, is that scary after, right? Yeah, you're getting knocked down and, you, and, you know, they're always going to reaction media if you, if you don't have bar to break away, right? But that's not to say, you know, you, like, uh, yeah, it might be scary against sub or something, right? Like, 25 frames might be enough for the media fall to in reaction. But outside of that, everyone else is just throwing you. Like, you know, you're just taking throws left, right, and center, right? You just, yeah, you're going to take throws over and over again, right? You might get auto shimmy the bit, right? But again, the, the auto shimmy throw game it isn't that like that oppressive right you have options to deal with that yeah you have um if you guess wrong you're gonna take big damage right but you, you're never stuck in a binary guess you can always cover two of the options at the same at the same time but again like that opens you up to damage but i don't know that's another video for another time in terms of the what the offense game which kevin i will eventually do that video right i just wanted to get this video asap but i don't know uh guys yeah, let me know what you think right uh i, I feel like I, I really wanted to break this down because after tom's video i really wanted to see how it worked um I guess I got the standard plugs right, but guys, yeah, to please follow Genuine Gaming, my sponsor, right? They do a lot for the, they do a lot for the scene, right? They, they keep trying to push us, even though like you know, even in, in, in these COVID times, we can't really do much with gaming. But they're actually sick, sick people. And shout out to Quanba for sponsoring us as well, and Deep Skin Tattoo. I'm pretty sure it's Deep Skin. Well, Deep, no, no, I, I keep getting that wrong. I, 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 I'll put the pictures in. But yeah. If you actually stay for this entire video, thanks for watching it, I guess.